YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby. If you're new here, today's video is going to be another buy or buy. I am a Lululemon educator and basically this video is just going through Lululemon's new releases and telling you my opinions and thoughts on them and whether I would buy them or not. This video is not at all sponsored. All of these opinions are just my own, of course. I will have everything linked down below in case you're interested in shopping any of the items that I mentioned in the video. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to chat about is something new to Lululemon. They recently just came out with a neutrals line. I do have my phone here as well, so if I'm looking down, I'm just probably looking at that. But they came out with a neutrals line in the Align franchise, Energy Bra, Underwear, and In Alignment Bra. So we do have the color Contour, Java, Dusty Clay, and I believe there's a few other ones as well in the Align Reversible Bras, which I'll touch on in a second here. But honestly, I am so glad glad that they came out with like a neutral line. It is kind of rivaling Skims, which again is like another really popular kind of like neutrals based clothing line. I feel like it was kind of expected for Lululemon to do something like this, but I bought Java in the Align leggings, which will be in an upcoming haul and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I missed out on French press and I'm super sad about that, but Java is definitely a lighter toned warmer brown than french press and honestly i love it just as much as i probably would have loved french press super excited to get my hands on those and in the Align tanks, while I'm here anyways, we do have orange soda, which seems to be a pretty popular color, especially on like TikTok. We have Wild Mint, which this is absolutely gorgeous. I will say that the straps to Wild Mint are thicker than the other Align tanks, which is super interesting and weird. Um, we also have the Diamond Dye Mink Berry Lunar Rock, and then the Silver Blue, Pastel Blue. I don't think these are new since my last one, but Electric Lemon is new as well. But that is what's new with the Align tanks. We'll also take a look really quick at the Align pants. So again, we have the Contour, Dusty Clay, and Java. Obviously, Java was the most popular one. As you can see here, it's mostly sold out. Now, Dusty Clay and Contour are double lined. And the way I can tell here is the seam on the outer side of her legging. So if you see that in product photos, for example, Love Red will also have that seam detail. That's how you know that the leggings are double lined and that's basically so the leggings are not see-through or sheer at all because they are a lighter color. So they're gonna have a little bit more of a thick feeling to them, a little bit more of a hugged sensation as well, but still that buttery soft fabric. I personally don't really mind them, but it does come down to personal preference but we also have a few new spring colors in them as well like pastel blue raspberry cream bronze green and vivid plum which are all new colors and I think orange soda is also new since the last time I filmed this video but there's so many bright colors on here right now which I am absolutely loving and honestly the aligned pants are really great for like yoga or relaxing in they also come in the 28 inch length I believe for Java and contour and stuff like that now as well, which again was really popular. We also have a few new Align crops. This is the 21 inch version and honestly, I'm not a huge fan of it, unfortunately, but poolside has been a very, very popular color so far. It is a very bright, vibrant blue. Definitely looks like, you know, a pool shade of blue. So very accurately named. Unfortunately, the 21s are just too short for me. They look really awkward. Hopefully they'll come out in a longer length in this color. Super cute. We also have a new diamond dye. This is Seashell Smoky Topaz Graphite Gray. This one is definitely more bold and out there than the other diamond dyes, I feel like. But again, interesting. I'm not opposed to it. I would have to see this one in person though to kind of gauge whether it would look nice or not, or if it would be too much. We also have the Cheetah Camo Deep Cold Multi. Cheetah seems to be really popular right now. There's a couple Swiftleys in the Cheetah pattern as well. Interesting, but again, 21 inches is just too short. And as I mentioned, the neutral colors are also in the energy bra. Again, this is like really nice to be paired under like white shirts, like the Swiftleys that are maybe are a little bit more sheer. So if you want a little bit more coverage, don't want something bright and bold under the shirt, this is a great option. So Dusty Clay, Pale Linen is another one, Misty Shell, Contour, Twilight Rose, 
Java and French Press, I believe, is the full range of neutrals. And what I know is that the neutrals line is going to be a more permanent line. So they are going to be available for a long period of time. So don't worry about getting them right away if you missed out on Java Align pants per se. They will restock and they will be around for a while. That being said, I don't think they're gonna go on markdown either. So you might as well just buy them now. Okay, and here are the colors as well in the Align Reversible Bra. Now, usually the Align Reversible Bra comes with two colors, but it looks like this one just has like the one color. So like French press is French press on both sides. It's not really reversible at this point, but that's okay because I think you could hide the Lululemon logo on the inside if you wanted to flip it around there. But they have French press, Java, and again, you can really see the difference between French press and Java when I click between them. Java is so much more warm tone, a little bit lighter. French press is almost black, a very, very deep brown color. Again, we have contour, twilight rose, really like this one. Misty shell, pale linen, and dusty clay. And then it also comes in the in alignment straight strap bras. So again, this one's a little bit more like a traditional bra type of item. So it has the straight straps, adjustable, and then the clasp closures. Again, a really great neutral as well. If you're looking for something to pair under like white colored tops, then you can get your skin tone color. And just to add to the franchise, they do have the Align shorts as well. Again, Java sold out super quickly this week, which it dropped on Tuesday, March 26th. So I'm filming this on the 27th and you'll be seeing this next week on May something. Yeah, so they have Java and bronze green. Again, the Align shorts seem to be super popular right now. They sell out within minutes of them releasing online. So if you ever do see a color, be sure to grab it right away because I don't think it'll be around for long. All right, to keep going with the theme of new releases from this week, we have a bunch of new Like a Cloud bras. Again, these are one of my favorites. They are so lightweight, like a bralette. It literally feels like a cloud, like you're wearing nothing. They have built-in pads. Absolutely love it and recommend it. We do have seal gray, pastel blue, peach satin, which again, I really, really love that color, and vintage plum along with raspberry cream as our new colors in that one. And I believe they also come in the long line. This new color, Strawberry Milkshake, again, is going to be a very popular one, I feel like. It is a beautiful baby light shade of pink. I've never actually tried the long line ones. I don't own one. I have tried them on in store, but I have yet to purchase one. So I don't know, maybe that one is a good contender. I also see that the Align long sleeve shirts also come out in the neutral colors. Again, that makes sense. It is supposed to be in the Align franchise. So the bra, the shorts, the long sleeve shirts, the short sleeve shirts, the Align tanks, etc., are all supposed to have these neutral colors. So we have the Dusty Clay, Contour, and Java, it looks like. And then Mineral Blue, I believe, is also new since the last buyer buy. We also have a bunch of new colors in the Dance Studio Jogger, and I feel like I'm still surprised on how popular these really are. This is like the only pant we have left in a mid-rise, unfortunately, at Lululemon, but I feel like a lot of people still, you know, gravitate towards them as an option. So we do have a new color called Ancient Copper, which again, I feel like this is kind of a fall color, but it's still really cute. We also have Chrome, which is like a lighter color, Gray Sage, and Soft Denim, I believe, all came out in these ones. Not 100% sure, this is not an item I normally check. But I also noticed we got Dance Studio joggers in the lined version, which are gonna be just a little bit thicker than the regular Dance Studio joggers. I find that material pretty thin. Personally, I have a Beyond the Studio jogger in the lined version. Again, they're super similar. One's high rise, one's mid rise. But I do like the lined ones better. I just feel like they are more like plushy and cozy, but it doesn't really make sense that we're coming out with them in summertime, like as we head into summer, as usually this is like a fall and winter item. That being said, it could be a product delay, but I'm glad to see that these are starting to pop back up because a lot of people are looking out for them. Speaking of strawberry milkshake, we also got Find Your Pace shorts in this color. Again, they went super fast. Find Your Pace, not really for me, unfortunately. I do have a shorts video that breaks down all of the shorts at Lululemon and kind of what body types might fit them best and all of that information. So be sure to check that out in the cards up here if you want to know a little bit more about the shorts, but sadly, these ones just don't work for me. We also have Love Red, Raspberry Cream, and Dark Red in the Find Your Pace shorts. Again, I love seeing more colors come out in these ones. I would love to see more like green or blue tones as well, as I see there's a lot of red and pink so far. 
We've also had a whole new set of lounge items come out since my last buyer buy, so I just wanted to go through them really quickly because I thought they were really interesting. They kinda are like the all yours hoodie, if you remember those from a couple years ago, and even just last year, I have one, and personally, I really love it. It is a nice, soft, cottony material. It's a little bit fleecy inside, like your standard like hoodie, but I love that this one doesn't have like a huge logo or anything on it. It's nice and plain and simple. So they do have a cropped version, which I would say is waist length. So it's really gonna hit maybe at the top of your legging waistband if they're high rise kind of thing. For me, I wasn't a huge fan of the cropped version. I just felt like it was a little bit too short if I wanted to wear it like a swiftly in like the regular length version. It was just too short for that. You could wear like an align tank with it or a race length swiftly and I think that would be okay. It's still super cute though. They have a bunch of colors in the cropped version and again, they are like a very nice hoodie. We also have a crew neck version, which is great. I haven't seen like a plain fuzzy crew neck from Lululemon for women in a long time. And same with the loungeful hoodie. Again, this one's very comparable to the all yours, I feel like. And I would definitely be interested in trying this one out. I'm just kind of waiting for maybe some different colors to pop up as like these ones aren't really like my go-to kind of colors. Could go with black. I feel like I would need like something more colorful. But we also have the loungeful cropped joggers. I do believe these ones are quite cropped, but they're going to still have that fleecy interior like the scuba joggers. But I think they're a little bit more flexible, a little bit more stretchy as well not as like structured and stiff like the scuba joggers can be so I would be interested in trying these out if they came out with like a regular or like 7 8 version not so much cropped as I feel like wearing cropped sweatpants can be like a little contradictory so I don't know maybe that's just me though and then they also have the full zip version again I would be super interested in trying this one out just kind of waiting for more colors and it's just kind of your standard full zip hoodie again a very you know great basic to add to your closet as well. Okay, moving on with some more new releases. We do have this classic fit cotton blend t-shirt dress. I feel like this one is gonna be a little bit more structured than the like all yours tea dress, which is like a very flowy kind of t-shirt dress. So I definitely am interested in this one since I don't feel like or I feel like the all yours t-shirt dress didn't really work out for me that much, but I do love this ancient copper one. Definitely will be on my watch list if it goes on markdown. And I love the charged indigo as well. So again, I don't know. I haven't actually tried this one, but I'd be very interested in trying it. I think it would be like a great summer casual dress as well. Also, we've had so many scubas come out online since the last buyer buy. Unfortunately, this one didn't make it, which is raspberry cream. It might be on the website by the time you're seeing this, but we did get some more funnel neck, which is in lavender dew. I did purchase this one and will be in my upcoming haul. So be sure to subscribe and stick around for that. You won't want to miss it, but absolutely love this color. Lavender dew is probably one of my favorite colors from Lululemon. 10 out of 10, stunning. We also got Vintage Plum, which is a darker shade of purple, and we also have Ripened Raspberry, which again is a very dark jewel tone shade of like pinky red, I would say. Almost has some blue undertone to it as well, but honestly, really love the scubas. This is my second funnel neck, and I'm very excited to kind of get more wear out of it. Usually I just gravitate towards these ones because they are a little bit more cozy. I feel like they're thicker. I'm not sure if that's just because of like the hood thing. It's it's been cold in Canada, so I haven't gotten a lot of wear out of my funnel necks, but I do want to like get more wear out of them and get into them a little bit more, especially as we move into summertime here. We also can't forget about the scuba half zips, which came out in do pink, I believe, since the last time I filmed a buyer buy. Creamy mint might also be new since then. I can't 100% remember, but again, two gorgeous shades of pastel colors and they're both pretty bright as well. So again, really great for spring and summer, but absolutely love the scubas. Recently, Lululemon also has come out with a new belt bag version. So this is the Everywhere Belt Bag Extended Strap. I do believe they are moving more towards this version. I don't know, I feel so torn about this. Like, I love that they're trying to be more inclusive. I do believe they only added two extra inches onto the bag, so not really sure how much difference that makes for some people. Really is a personal preference for your belt bags. For some people, they didn't really make a difference at all. 
for me to wear it around my waist I find that there is now two inches obviously of extra fabric that kind of just hangs off the side of the bag because I can't quite like do it up in the way that the belt bag is designed now they also changed a few details like the Lululemon tag on the outside along with the logo and on the inside the like Lululemon is now plastic instead of that metal little detail as well so there's a few changes to it I am gonna do a belt bag kind of comparison and updated what's in my belt bag video as well that is coming for you but we do have some more colors this one is trench a great neutral this is Vapor Seal Gray Iron Blue, another great neutral, and I love the pop of color on it. We got Bronze Green, Highlight Purple, Seal Gray, Pink Pastel, Black, Ancient Copper, and Spray Camo, Mini Silver Blue, Multi. I feel like there is a few other colors on here before, but unfortunately it looks like they have sold out. If you find the belt bag a little bit too short, maybe to wear it cross body, give this one a go. I feel like a lot of people can still, you know, wear it that way. I probably could too, but just for long shifts or if I'm wearing the belt bag for a long period of time, this part of my shoulder really gets sore and bugs me. So I normally opt to wear it around my waist for that purpose. But if I'm like on a short kind of trip going out to do errands, I will wear it cross body. All right, and on the line of strawberry milk shake things, we've had some new colors in the Hottie Hots as well. Unfortunately, they were both low rise, which I'm not really a low rise girl. I am totally like addicted to my high rise. I tried them on in the low rise. I don't know if I can go back. With high rise, I can just wear an aligned tank with it or a crop shirt and it not show too much of my stomach area, which I feel like is more appropriate for work and just being out and about in general. So again, not really sure how I feel about the low rise, but I absolutely love this color. These are the strawberry milkshake four inch low rise. We also have the diamond dye blue ones, electric lemon, orange soda, raspberry cream, and pastel blue. Again, all stunning colors for the Summertime, we also have poolside in the two and a half inch, and then they also came out with strawberry milkshake in the two and a half inch, but I believe they're sold out right now. I usually post restocks on my TikTok if you wanna follow me on there, if that's something you're searching for, but there is like orange soda, raspberry cream, sonic pink, all of those types of colors as well on the website currently. Okay, Lululemon also came out with bodysuits and onesies, which I find very, very interesting. I personally did not get a chance to try the bodysuit, but it basically is like an aligned tank and aligned pant smushed together, which can be really good. I feel like it's a little bit tricky for those who are in between sizes, like say you're an eight in the aligned tank, but a four in the aligned pant. I feel like that's where it can get a little tricky because obviously it's gonna be one size. I don't really have a purpose for this. I don't know where I would wear this to. Do I think it's cute? Yeah, would I like to try it out? Also, yes. But again, it's made for yoga. I feel like you could maybe do like a gentle bar in this or something like that. But like as an athleisure piece, I just don't see myself getting a lot of use out of it, but fun nevertheless. We also have the onesie, which I did try on. I have a video posted on my TikTok. Honestly, didn't love this one. I think if the shorts were six inch and I feel like maybe you could just hem them, I guess would be the alternate solution. Lululemon does have free hemming. Maybe it would be better because when I put it on, I just kind of felt like a wrestler and I don't know, it just wasn't the look I was going for. It wasn't the feel I wanted to have as well. So unfortunately it didn't really work out for me, but I feel like if you did hem the shorts, maybe that would be better. I don't really know. I wasn't sold on it right away, so I definitely passed, and I don't think I would be picking up this item either. I would probably just rather go with a line shorts and an aligned tank instead of a onesie. We've also had a few new groove pant colors come out recently. So again, we have Charged Indigo, which is actually stunning in person when you put them on. My first impressions of these were like, Wow, that looks like Scooby-Doo, like Daphne from Scooby-Doo vibes. Very 70s, very retro. I wasn't really about it, but I did try them on and honestly, I was shocked that I didn't hate them. Definitely would be considering picking these up. We also have bronze green. Again, a very nice color of green, but a little bit more out there, I feel like, for yoga pants. We also have dark olive and then the diamond dye as well. Honestly, I have not I have yet to pick up a pair of groove pants. I don't know, I just don't know if I can get back on that train. We'll see. 
Also, Lululemon came out with a couple new like Align tanks, and these are the Eraserback version. I don't think they have a built-in bra. They're still gonna be like that Nulu fabric, high neck, it looks like and then of course the racer back where the aligned tanks are more of a straight strap I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like the cool racer back is pretty similar Obviously this one has like a little bit of a different shape and silhouette to it It could be a really great option if you want something with a little bit more coverage than the cool racer back But still that racer back they also have hip length and waist length so two different lengths depending on what you want or like are looking for I don't know for me personally, I don't think it's an instant buy. I would like to try them out, maybe if one goes on markdown. And we also have some new travel woven pants. I feel like these ones are very similar to like more dress pants, I guess you could say. For me personally, when I tried them on, it didn't really work out for me. I did try a size 24, which is the smallest size that comes here so I would assume like a zero however they were just too baggy on me I didn't really fill them out at all so it didn't look dressy it kind of looked more like sweatpants like dressy sweatpants on me but like not in a cute way I've seen them on other people and they look gorgeous super flattering on them if you do work in an office environment definitely give these ones a try I think it would be a great like little dress up like a dressier option for an outfit. It is gonna be the woven material, so a little bit lighter. So again, perfect for summer environments as well. So if you do need a dress pan, definitely check those ones out. The next thing I wanna chat about is the Wonder Train Contour Line. This is a brand new like addition to the Wonder Trains for Lululemon. Basically, it's going to have an adjusted hip to waist ratio. So if you are in between sizes of the regular Wonder Trains, definitely give these ones a shot. They're gonna have a narrow waistband opening and more room through the hip and leg area. Again, let's say if you were a six in the Wonder Trains, however, the waist just felt too big. There's a little bit of extra fabric, some gaping going on if you're like bending down, squatting, and you just didn't get that hugged in feel to them. But when you size down to a four, the waist fit great, but you just felt too hugged in the hips and legs. The Wonder Train Contour Fit is going to be a great solve for that problem. I would go back to that six in that example for them because again, you're gonna have basically a four waist on a six legging. I've tried them personally. I've really enjoyed them so far. I just have the shorts in them. For me, I fit the regular Wonder Trains just fine. So this is not a huge need for me, but I love that they are coming up with that problem solved for people who were experiencing that. They did move the logo back down to the leg. They only have like a few color options right now. They have the 23s, the 25s, a few more color options in the 25 and the 28 in the contour fit as well as four inch and eight inch shorts at the moment. I got the four inch shorts. 10 out of 10, I love that they have a wider leg opening to them, so they're not gonna squeeze you and give you sausage legs like the previous Wonder Trains did. 10 out of 10, recommend, and if you can try them out, if you're like between sizes, I think you definitely should. Okay, moving on, the next item I wanted to go through here is the Strappy Nulu Shelf Tank Top. Now, this one is very, very similar to the Align Tank in the sense that it is Nulu, it has a built-in bra. However, it has a completely different neckline and a different like strap detail in the back. Honestly, I tried this one on. I really liked the look of it. However, it just didn't really do anything for me. The square neck didn't flatter me as well as I hoped it would have. I feel like if you do have a larger chest size this is maybe a little bit more coverage than the Align Tank so it might work out for you there. It does say that it's still light support for A and B cups. Like that being said I feel like the neckline definitely changes the support of it a little bit. I tried on a size 2 and I felt like there's a lot of material in the body of it so I would probably size down in this one just to see if that helps at all. However I know those who do maybe have a larger chest size or a larger rib cage size maybe stay true to size and this could be a really great option. It's still gonna have that buttery soft lightweight feeling to it. I do like the little strap details in the back but unfortunately it just didn't work out for me. But that pretty much sums up all of Lululemon's new releases over the past month or at least my highlights of new items like new lines. 
Of course, there is plenty more like items and colors that came out, but that video would probably be an hour long if I tried to fit everything into it. But let me know down below what your highlights were from Lululemon's new releases recently, or what's an item you want to try as well that maybe just came out and you haven't had a chance to try it out yet. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. And with that, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!